What's up, y'all? Welcome to a special uh, Omni Bros Not So Live collection tour, library tour video. Uh, it is my turn this month to take everyone on a trip around my uh, personal comic book library. Uh, so we're going to get that started. I'm going to take you on a quick tour, show off uh, some of what my stuff is. I got everything nice and clean for everyone to see. So I'm excited to take you all on this uh, magical mystery tour, if you will. Uh, so let's go. So I want to start real quick. Um, I'm going to start with Western stuff rather than manga. So people can, uh, if you want to see manga, skip to probably about halfway through the video or so. Uh, but we're going to start on this shelf right here. Uh, this is my, uh, so I start my collection, my Western collection with, uh, Marvel stuff. This first shelf is, you can see Star Wars and non-Marvel Universe related Marvel stuff on this shelf. The classic Omnis, I've got the oversized hardcovers for, uh, most of the releases. Basically, I'm just missing the Afra hardcover of the recent stuff. I've got some Stephen King, Muppets, The Twelve, Bendis Noir, Bendis Powers, and Incognito. Then going up to my next shelf here, you can see some of my decorations, pops and legends and whatnot, is this is the uh, general Marvel shelf. And let me move my little reading chair out of the way. But this is my general Marvel shelf. Um, at the top, you can see I've got my standard uh, size hardcovers and paperbacks, Avengers, Black Panther, Captain America, Daredevil, some Hulk, a lot more Hulk, Red Hulk, She-Hulk, Iron Fist, Iron Man, Iron Man, Runaway, Spider-Man, a bunch of Spider-Man, Thunderbolts, Venom, and then it starts going into my events and my hardcovers and omnibus. This first section with the Omnis and stuff, this is all my Ultimate Marvel stuff, um, Ultimate Spider-Man complete. Then I go into my normal, or the, the rest of my Omnis, um, starting with an alias, Annihilation, and then Annihilation goes into all the other cosmic stuff. So I just continue that right there. Avengers, starting with uh, West Coast, uh, going into the Kurt Busiek run, Bendis, uh, New Avengers, Hickman, Secret Wars, Young Avengers, some Captain America, my Brubaker five volume set, Carnage, Daredevil, Marvel Knights, which is basically just Daredevil. More Daredevil, Daredevil, Daredevil. Earth X, a bunch of Fantastic Four. Continuing on to the next line. Uh, Ghost Rider, Guardians of the Galaxy, Hawkeye, Hulk, Howard the Duck, Iron Man, Loki, Man Thing, Zombies, Miss Marvel, a bunch of Punisher, Runaways, and then getting down on my knees down here. Um, Secret Invasion, Secret Wars, Secret Wars 2, Warriors, uh, all of the Shang-Chi stuff, all six of those books, uh, a bunch of Spider-Man Omnis, and then Thor at the very end there, more Thor, Venom, Werewolf by Night, and then a bunch of oversized hardcovers go to the end of this shelf. So that's all of my general Marvel stuff. <clears throat> um, I try to stay pretty organized. I kind of have my own style of organizing it mostly by size uh when i separate you can see most of the oversized hardcovers are there at the bottom uh, and stuff like that so that's my general marvel shelf the next one now is my x-men shelf just to look down from uh the top to the bottom there uh so this is all my x-men collections at the top you can see i've got a bunch of the paperbacks standard size hardcovers i get those things mostly in alphabetical order um, you know, I've got my Astonishing, Excalibur, uh, you can see towards the end I go into the New Mutants, there's more New Mutants here, a bunch of Wolverine stuff, X-23, and then from here it starts being some chronological X-Men collections, and you get into the, like, uh, Victor Gishler stuff, and then X-Men, uh, Extreme X-Men, I've got a good amount, there's not a ton of X-Men stuff that I'm missing, um, I, I, I've gotten most of what I want, and, uh, yeah, so that's where I am now. And then the hardcovers, you can see I go into my Omnibus editions, um, starting with Alpha Flight and then Cable, all my Deadpool books, basically for the rest of this shelf until Weapon X here, 
my second shelf of uh, hardcovers go through the rest of my Wolverine related stuff all the way up to the current Hunt for Wolverine uh, or most recent one and then a bunch of X-Force uh, going through Uncanny X-Force which continued into Uncanny Avengers and that ended with, uh, well, not really ended, but the next part of that was the Axis. Um, here's my first X-Men figure shelf. I collect the uh, the Marvel Legends X-Men figures. Marvel's been releasing them like basically one wave a year or so for the past few years, and they started doing Deadpool waves as well. So I have uh, pretty much every one of the newer figures that they've released, uh, and there's a couple of older ones mixed in here as well. So... Uh, Brown, Wolverine, Polaris, uh, there's the recent Madrox, um, Psylocke, this is the was a Toys R Us exclusive, uh, Cyclops and Jean Grey, I'm making them uh, emulate the cover of the one, uh, that one famous cover from Dark Phoenix. This is the old Toy Biz Gambit, Rogue, Archangel was a recent acquisition, uh, yellow and blue Wolverine, 90s Jim Lee Cyclops, I've got a Beast right there, uh, Sunfire, Iceman, Dazzler, another Jean Grey, the uh, Gladiator, and Mohawk Storm. Uh, the next shelf starts the uh, Silver Age. Uh, I don't have Volume 1, but that Silver Age X-Men Volume 2, and that chronologically pretty much goes through the rest of what's available in oversized hardcover. Continuing down on the next uh, row, you see major points like uh, Apocalypse and Onslaught, and then you get into like New X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, and a bunch of these uh, crossover volumes that lead up to the most recent stuff. And the chronologically most recent one that I have is the, the Legion omnibus. Uh, I know that there are some things that I'm missing. I don't have everything. It's not a perfect collection, but I've put a lot of work into this collection, and I'm very proud of my X-Men books. Anyone who's been watching my channel or this channel for uh, any amount of time probably knows that I really love the X-Men. That's obvious by looking at this. Next shelf, this is kind of other stuff, image stuff. Um, Valiant takes up the bottom two shelves. At the top, I've got my uh, Ninja Turtles figures and a Usagi Yojimbo, Lock and Key, the TMNT hardcovers, Chu, East of West, Vital, uh, some other stuff from Image, more Image, some paperbacks right there as well. Next shelf is uh, from various publishers, different sized volumes. Um, more various books from different publishers, and then it starts into my Valiant stuff. I have almost all of the Valiant hardcovers. I'm missing probably about a handful of them, but a few of them I really don't care about, which is why I skipped out of them in the first place. So, um, so yeah, that's that shelf right there. Now the next one, uh, this one, let's see my Joker poster up there. This shelf is mostly figures. This is mostly those X-Men figures that I was mentioning. Um, the the shelf that I have here is one of these. It's from Target. It's um, cheap, like a $20 shelf. They're really good, but they're not quite sturdy enough to handle heavy hardcover books, so I decided to use this one as a display for my figures. So the top here has more of the modern X-Men uh, figures, so you have very modern, like uh, all new Wolverine and Old Man Logan. This is the uh, Uncanny uh, Avengers version of Havoc. That's the Extraordinary X Men version of uh, Colossus. And then the uh, Bendis era version of Cyclops. Uh, like Astonishing X Men, Kitty Pride more or less. Uh, Danger and then Zorn from New X-Men, so some newer versions of the characters. This next shelf I have pretty much villains, um, Sinister, Juggernaut, Sabretooth, Magneto, and I know this is the version of Magneto that's from Colin Bunn's um, Uncanny X-Men, uh, and that's kind of the era where he's still kind of a hero, So, but I, I don't have a classic bad guy Magneto figure, so I wanted to put that there. Um, Apocalypse, you can see behind Apocalypse is Mystique, but she kind of can't stand on her own, so I just let her lean back there. And then I've got uh, Omega Red, and then this last 
shelf of figures is Deadpools and X-Forces and stuff like that. So I've got um, Shatterstar and uh, Out of Place is Warlock, but he's the only New Mutant I really have. Um, Cable, classic, Cable and classic uh, Deadpool. I've got Bishop in the back there. Uh, Deadpool back in black. Uncanny X-Force Deadpool. Uh, this is like the x sanction version of Cable, uh, X-Force, X-23, Domino, and a uh, modern version of Deadpool kind of based on the Jerry Dugan run on the series. And then my bottom shelf on this bookcase is a bunch of uh, other stuff from, from other publishers, larger books. So I've got like my Scott Pilgrim's, Homestuck, Zenith, uh, Lost Girls, uh, the two Power Rangers hardcovers, Crimson, and Letter 44. Uh, continuing over into this next shelf, this is pretty much, the majority of it is all Dark Horse stuff. And you can see that starts with the paperbacks with concrete, and I have normal sized hardcovers as well. And it goes into my uh, Magnolia verse stuff with Abe Sapien, BPRD, all my Hellboy libraries. And then under that, I have Buffy, uh, Angel and Faith, more Buffy, The Goon, the new Harrow County book that came out. And then some more Dark Horse Library editions. And at the very bottom, that entire bottom shelf, uh, or the majority of that section, is all Rick Remender's uh, like library edition size books, both from Dark Horse and also from Image. Uh, and then moving over, I've got the next big shelf here. This is all my DC and my Vertigo stuff. So we're reaching the end of my Western comics here. At the top, um, I'm kind of overflowing on my DC shelf, but got a few books at the top. I've got a bunch of Batman figures based on Morrison stuff and based on Frank Miller stuff. I've got some posters, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, uh, X-Men, Amazing Spider-Man, and then there's a, uh, a print that uh, some uh, one of the uh, my old viewers made for me, Michael uh, Young, and it's based on uh, Scotty Young artwork. And you can see like I've got my uh, Morpheus, a Turbo Man, a Pokeball, a Katamari, uh, and then moving over even more, I've got my Boba Fett helmet, Woody, classic, uh, where the wild things are, and then a uh, the the octopus from Toy Story. But anyway, so going back over here, um, at the top of the shelf, the books over here, they start in alphabetic order from this, and then go down, more or less, with like the deluxe editions kind of mixed in with the uh, omnibus. So I got Crisis, New Frontier, Rebirth, Dial H, Final Crisis, Flash, Fourth World, Gotham Central, Grayson, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Hawkeye, Justice League, JLA, uh, Justice League Dark Side War, Justice Society of America, Multiversity, Iron, uh, sorry, Orion, Seven Soldiers, Solo, Superman, Swamp Thing, New Teen Titans, um, that's like under T, uh, Teen Titans, Wonder Woman, and then from that it just goes into Batman stuff, Batman, 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 a bunch of oversized hardcovers, and then it goes into paperbacks, and I've been doing a really good job of buying all the hardcovers and the paperbacks and stuff for Batman, basically from uh, year one and on, basically post-crisis, so any collection that comes out, I wind up buying that. I've got a pretty solid collection of it. Uh, I've got most things that are out. Um, there's not much that I'm missing. The most of what I'm missing is going to be pre-Nightfall stuff and then some of the New 52 stuff. And I don't have all of the different tie-ins and spin-offs and stuff. I've got some of it you can see. Like, I've got Batgirl, Batwoman, Catwoman, uh, one of the volumes of Nightwing. But I don't have all of those spin-off books. Um, Aquaman, Challengers, a bunch of Flash... Green Arrow by Grell, some Green Lantern stuff, My Zombie, Justice League Dark, Question by Denny O'Neill, Starman by James Robinson, Suicide Squad, some Superman stuff, some Wonder Woman stuff, and then all my Earth One stuff. And then over to my last shelf of Western books, this is my Vertigo shelf. I mix in some uh, stuff that's not exactly published by Vertigo, like uh, Swamp Thing, I have some... DC stuff because most of Swamp Thing falls under Vertigo anyway. So yeah, uh, Animal Man, which is my absolute favorite comic of all time, Animal Man by Grant Morrison, uh, and then Animal Man past Grant Morrison. 
uh, Dark Knight, Django, Exterminators, Enigma, Filth, It's a Bird, a bunch of Helsing, Losers, Lucifer, Behind a Swampy There is Nobody, Northlanders, The Other Side, Punk Rock Jesus, Sea Guy, Sebastian O, Swamp Thing, Bronze Age, Omnibus, Swamp Thing by More, uh, More Swamp Thing, Not by More, <laughs> More, More, More Swamp Thing, Unknown Soldier, and then into the uh, hardcovers, or the oversized hardcovers and Omnis, I've got American Vampire, Doom Patrol, Ex Machina, uh, House of Secrets, Invisibles, I Zombie, Sandman, Sleeper, 100 Bullets, Day Tripper, DMZ, Fables, I don't have all of Fables, I only have one through six out of the 15, uh, Flex Mentallo, Joe the Barbarian, Kid Eternity, Kill Your Boyfriend, Ocean Orbiter, Scalped, Sheriff of Babylon, Sweet Tooth, Trillium, Why the Last Man, Unwritten, V for Vendetta, just added into my collection today, uh, and then some Wildstorm stuff, or non-Vertigo, non-DCU stuff, uh, Global Frequency, Planetary, Watchmen, Ronins, Base Ghost, Zombie, and then the Bat Manga by Jiro Kawada. At the very bottom, I've got my Absolute Editions. These are to sell stuff, basically. And then uh, this bottom part, I have my Absolutes for Preacher. You have my Cassidy figure there. And my Absolutes for Transmetropolitan and my Spider figure next to that. So that's all of my Western stuff. So the other half of my room is going to be manga, so I can start up on this shelf and start showing those off. Uh, my manga collection starts up here with Berserk, uh, starting off my Dark Horse books, Berserk 1 through 39, Drifters Volume 1, Gantz Volume 1. Uh, I've got most of the currently released I Am a Hero volumes, uh, Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service 1, Mob Psycho 101, Old Boy Number 1, uh, and then it starts into my Shonen Jump book, starting with Black Clover. Um, so I separate my stuff basically, and you'll see it in a little bit, but I separate it from stuff that's currently ongoing or that I'm currently still collecting from all the stuff that's completed. So these books are currently ongoing, Black Clover, Black Torch, uh, Boruto, Demon Slayer, Dr. Stone, uh, Dragon Ball Super, and I have the Yamcha book that just came out in there too, Haikyuu. Going down the next shelf, Haikyuu. Uh, Hikaru no Go is concluded, but I'm not complete with it. Same for Kuroko no Basketball or Kuroko's Basketball. The final volume is coming out soon, but I don't have all of it. Uh, I just kind of have bits and pieces that I've grabbed for cheap uh, online. My Hero Academia, uh, Nora, Rise of the Yokai Clan is kind of the same as Kuroko and Hikaru no Go. It's complete in the US, I just haven't finished buying all of it. Um, one Piece, there's volume one. And then 2 through 35, 36 through 67. I'm going all the way up to this tall boy right here, 68 through 87, and ending with 88 and those one shots. That's all of one piece that's released in the US. Uh, one Punch Man, 1 through 14, Promised Neverland, 1 through 6, Radiant, 1 and 2. I've got a lot of Toriko. I have some gaps in there, you'll see. Um, I haven't collected all of it yet, but I have a, probably two-thirds of it at this point. So once that's done, it's concluded in the U.S. also. That'll move over. Uh, World Trigger, I have about half of it. It went on hiatus, but apparently it's coming back from hiatus now. Assassination Classroom, also concluded in the U.S., but I only have uh, random six volumes. So I'll, once I collect all of that, that'll move over to my completed area, which you'll see soon. Um, Food Wars... 1 through 20, and then 21 through 26. Hunter Hunter, 1 through 15, and 16 through 34. And then I have the first few volumes of Banana Fish that are slightly out of order right now. Uh, Zelda Twilight Princess, 20th Century Boys, Dead Dead Demons, DDD Destruction, Fire Punch, Golden Kamui, Master uh, Keaton, a little bit of Gundam, some real Terraformers, and Ultraman. And my next shelf over here, this is the... The Great Wall of Manga, basically, is what I like to call it. Um, it is my completed series, um, or series that I'm nearing completion on. Uh, so from the top, again, alphabetical order, uh, Black Cat, 1 through 20, complete. Bleach, 1 through 74, is also complete. Kawa is a single volume. Dr. Slump, 1 through 18, is complete. Hoshinengi, 1 through 23, complete. Uh, Knights of Zodiac, 1 through 28, complete. Muyo and Roji, 1 through 18, complete. Uh, Naruto, I have 1 through 70, and then I'm missing... Or 1 through 69, I'm missing 70, and I'm missing 72, but I have 71, and I have the Aftermath volume. 
um, or the epilogue volume, whatever you want to call it, that leads into Boruto. Roni Kenshin complete, 28 volumes. Sandland is one volume. Shaman King, 1 through 32 is complete. Slam Dunk, 1 through 31 is complete. Tagami Bachi, I have uh, everything except for volume 11 out of the 20. Whistle, 1 through 24 complete. Yu-Gi-Oh! 3 and 1s, I'm missing a handful of those. Uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh! R, I'm only missing the last two. Yugi, or Yu Yu Hakusho, 1 through, you can see behind here, 19. That's complete. Ultimo, I have all but volumes uh, 4, 11, and 10, I think, before that one's complete. Uh, Zombie Powder, Busa Rankin, complete. Ice Shield, uh, 21, 1 through 37, complete. Gunblaze West, 3 volumes complete. Uh, Ultimate Muscle, I'm missing 7 and 13 because they are super expensive and rare. And then 21 uh, before that's all complete. And then I get from my Shonen Jump Advanced going into uh, Viz Media stuff, starting with Cross Game, 1 through 8. That one is complete. Excel Saga, 1 through 27 is complete. O Parts Hunter or 666 Satan, 1 through 19 complete. One Pound Gospel, 1 through 4 complete. Pokemon, I have the complete red, blue, yellow. Uh, Ronma one half one through thirty six complete, and then going into Kadansha books, I have the complete seven volumes of uh, A Silent Voice, complete fourteen volumes of uh, Animal Land. My volume eight was a really crappy library copy, so I need to get a new one of that. I have all of the Cowboy Bebop manga, or manga uh, Fully Cooly one and two, GTO the early years one through fifteen. The last five were published by uh, Vertical. And then I have the original GTO. 1 through 25, Love Hina, 1 through 14, but the rest of Love Hina is hiding behind Samurai Deeper Kyo, which I'm just missing volumes 16 through 25 of before I'm done with it. Uh, and then I've got Rave Master back here, 1 through 35, the complete series, uh, Crying Freeman 1 through 5, that one's complete too, Helsing, uh, now we're in the Dark Horse stuff, by the way. Helsing 1 through 10, complete. Trigun 1 and 2 is complete, and I have the special hardcover editions from Barnes & Noble. Uh, and then Trigun Maximum 1 through 14 is complete. And then going over to this shelf, um, this is a bunch of like the larger and hardcover volumes. I've got some uh, the Zelda Hyrule Historia and Link to the Past right there. Uh, <clears throat> Speed Racer. The first three out of five Battle Royales, Devilman Classic 1, number two just recently came out, Full Metal Alchemist 1 and 2 of the hardcovers. I used to have a full series of the paperbacks, but the hardcovers are really nice, so I decided to trade up. Um, JoJo's Complete, parts 1 and 2, and then one more volume left of part 3. Uh, and then it goes into my Junji Ito work, pretty much that majority of this shelf. And then I have All You Need Is Kill, um, Death Note 1 through 4 out of 6. I've got all of Dragon Ball. All of Dragon Ball Z, and then all of Goodnight Poon Poon, followed by all of the Zelda, the thick Zelda trades, my Link figure there, all of Monster Perfect Edition, all of Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm missing just Volume One of Pluto. I've got some of the more Pokemon stuff down there, Solon in, and then I've got uh, uh, Tenjo Tenge. I've got one through nine out of eleven of the uh, double sized. Uh, full contact edition volumes. I've got one of the Gundam The Origin hardcovers, the first two Blade of the Immortal Omnis. Uh, behind this shelf is more Tenjo Tenge, uh, Vagabond, Viz Big, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, uh, and then Tokyo Ghoul, 1 through 14 complete, and then volume 4 of the follow-up series, Tokyo Ghoul Re, or RE. And then behind Tokyo Ghoul, uh, just real quick, I have the series Rebound, uh, it's another basketball series from Tokyo Pop, and I am currently working on collecting the last few volumes that I need of that one. And then down to my last shelf here, back where we started, this is the top of the shelf that had Star Wars on it. At the top here, that's my Akira hardcovers, uh, 1 through 6 plus Akira Club. Attack on Titan Colossal Edition 1 through 4, uh, Battle Angel Alita 1 through 5, Fairy Tale Master Volume 2, the first two volumes of Sailor Moon Eternal, Volumes 1 through 7 of Vinland Saga, and then a bunch of other stuff from Kadansha series that are still going. Uh, Inuyashiki is concluded, but I just don't have the last three volumes. A um, bunch of other stuff. Parasite, I still need to conclude that. Mars Chronicle, Battle Angel Lita, Ajin, I'm missing a few volumes to get caught up with that. 
a bunch of Devilman stuff from, uh, now we're getting to Seven Seas, Afro Samurai, Opossums, um, some other stuff from uh, Yen Press, like Yamushi Petal, and that's it. That is my entire comic collection. So yeah, just let me take a quick, give everyone a quick look around the room. This is it. There is, this is, this is my library. This is where, as they like to say, the magic happens. Everything's looking really nice and clean and organized now. My figure is all put away. Everything's happy and in the right place, um, which is very rare. That happens maybe once every few months because usually I just stack things and try to figure out panicked where the hell they're going to go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed taking this tour of my room. Um, I am very parched now and need to get a drink and my head looks shiny as heck. But um, again, thank you so much for watching this. Um, any questions about any particular books that are out here, any uh, recommendations of things that you think I should have if I don't already have it, um, or just any general comments, please sound off below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day, great night, great whatever it is, and we will see you guys next time live on Omni Bros Live. Adios.